You're on the cover of Cosmopolitan. Congratulations. Thank and you. Thank you. You got, you got a centerfold. I do. I mean, I, and that was like on a bucket list to be on this particular magazine. That right? was my dream. I used to collect Cosmos. I used to put them all over my walls, and it's really funny too because my parents and my family—they're really proud. And they've been sending me pictures every time they go to a store or the airport, and they see my magazine. They cover the entire magazine racks with my cover. So you walk by, and it's just Sydney Cosmo. Like all the other magazines are completely covered. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. No, no, they're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Not you. Um, so Euphoria, we saw the clip, and I think uh, a lot of people uh, have seen and know what the show is. But if they haven't, tell everybody what Euphoria is and who you play. Cassie is a basket case. She doesn't have it to go. Thank you. Uh, she has fallen in love with her best friend's boyfriend. Yep. And it doesn't go well. Yeah, that's not a good idea usually. No, I I don't recommend it. Yeah. No. Yeah. And now you say your parents are proud. You're on the cover of, of Cosmo. But what about all the scenes that like you know? How do they feel about your well the whole show really? Well. <laughs> Uh, so for the premiere, I invited my entire family, and I didn't really think about the scenes. Your entire that were, family meeting, like who? my grandparents, my uncle. You invited my, your grandparents. Oh yeah, I, brought, I was like, it's a Hollywood premiere, like you gotta come. And uh, we were all sitting next to each other, and giant screen, like ginormous screen. Well, you yeah. did that to yourself. I mean, <laughs> I was on the floor. What are you thinking? Inviting your grandparents to that? Well, and, and how I wasn't they? thinking. How? I was so excited. And how are they with it? Up. They said I, had, I have the best in Hollywood. <laughs> your grandparents said that? Yeah, my grandma's sitting right there. She's right there. Wait, your grandma's sitting right yeah, there? Yeah, Bella, let's say hi. Oh, hi. Wow. All right, then. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, that she, she approves. Grandma approves. Yeah. Um, I was watching some B-roll of you. Uh, I, I used to box, but I, like, really? you know, not in a ring, but, I, you know, I used to do that to train. It is an amazing workout, but I, I saw this. I mean, this is MMA, though, right? Yes, this is well, right here, boxing, and then I was training grappling and MMA, so it's the whole, it's the whole thing. And how often do you train that way? <laughs> I started training when I was like 12, 13 years old. Oh, wow, yeah. And I was going there three, four days a week for years and years. Are you still doing it? Not as actively. Yeah. Because I would get a lot of bruises, break some bones. Right, right. Well, it, doesn't it, like that. it's very, very impressive. And what's more impressive even than that is that you have the coolest car. You have an original old Bronco, which yeah. is a cool looking car, but you are repairing. You, what do you, what is it? What? I heard you're putting this whole thing back together by yourself. What does that mean? Are you putting the mirror on? <laughs> no. I'm, what are you doing? I have completely, so it was a manual, and my mom's very upset with me, but I changed it to automatic because I wanted it to be my daily driver, so completely took out the transmission, changed the front and rear axle. You're doing this yourself? I have my best friend's dad builds and restores Porsches, and so he set up a part of his shop and has been guiding me along the way, and I've been learning the whole process. It's been a lot of fun. Wow, that is really impressive. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Very cool. All right, uh, both seasons of Euphoria are available now on HBO Max. We'll be right back.